Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. I hope that there's no like echo um, in this room. Basically, if you guys watched my last vlog or you follow me on Snapchat or Twitter and you remember my neighbor decided to start blasting music in her apartment, which is the room right next to the beauty room. Um, so the beauty room is out of bounds at the moment and the lighting in there was like awful anyway. So I've moved myself to the living room. Welcome to my couch. If you guys hear, these sounds. It is not me farting. Unfortunately, it is the sofa. Um, but yeah, I decided I would just film in here anyway, so I hope the echo isn't too bad. Hopefully you guys can still hear me fine and like I'm not shouting or anything. But anyway, today we have a massive haul. I will show you guys how massive it is. So it is, it is, it is big. It's, it's a huge haul. Um, I've been collecting this stuff for quite a while. It's just chilling in my basket. And then I ordered some like recent things. And then I was like, actually, should I just do a haul? And then I asked, I think I asked on Snapchat and Twitter. It's pretty much where I always ask you guys things. So make sure you follow me on there so that you guys can get an input. Um, if you wanted a haul and so many of you were like, yes. So here it is. Um, grab a snack grab a few this is gonna be in no particular order i have used a couple of things already but i will still show you anyway the first thing is the anastasia ultimate glow kit i am giving one of these away i think it's already been given away by the time that you guys see this um but here it is here i have used this in a tutorial so i will leave that link down below and if i've used anything i will leave that link down below as well so you guys can see it in action and everything because obviously a swatch and just a showing is completely different to it being in action but this is what it looks like here. This is my favourite glow kit that they have come out with that I've purchased and I've felt and seen. I don't have the Moon Child and the other one. What is it called? Like Star Power or something. I don't know. But there was no sweets. That's it. The sweets. I don't have that one or the Moon Glow. The Moon Child. I don't know. I don't have those two because those are only exclusive to her website and I don't want to pay customs because I'm not about that life anymore. Anastasia has charged me a £63 customs fee before and ever since then I've just been like, no, I'll pass. If it's not in Sephora, I'm not interested. But this one is my favourite out of the Gleam, the Glow and the Sun Dip one. This one's just amazing. It's much more closer to the Illuminators, um, which are my preferred favourites. The next thing is the Lorac Mega 3 palette, Mega Pro 3 palette. I never know how to say it, Lorac. Lorac, Lorac. I don't know if it's like Lorac, but Americans say Lorac because of the accent. I don't know, but I got it. Um, I picked this up from Ulta. I did use a shipping service. I will leave all those details down below. But me and my friend Sarah said we really want it, so we decided to pick it up, and I got a few other things from America as well. This palette, if I ever made a palette, it would look identical to this. The white and the rose gold, I'm obsessed. It is gorgeous. Um, and then you open it up, and inside... It looks like this. I love this. I think this is like my, my favorite shade here. This like burgundy reddish kind of shade eggplant. Um, it does come with a mirror, quite a big mirror as well. This palette is a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, I'm not saying like that's bad or anything. Like I still like the size. It's good to travel with. Like I can travel with this. But when I saw like American YouTubers or pictures of it, I thought it was like massive, but it's not. It's like a good, a good size. Yeah, I think eggplant and probably maple are like my two favorites and i'm going to be doing a tutorial using this as well so don't worry everything will be used in a tutorial at some point but if there's anything that you guys want to see urgently just let me know just let me know the next three things are the new highlighters from mac these are the extra dimension skin finishes i brought soft frost double gleam and show gold there was another one um like blushing pink or something like that but i didn't get that one because i don't really like pinky highlighters Although I do have them and I do wear them. But I kind of wanted to go for the palette that I, I know I like. So this one here is the shade Soft Frost. And looking at it, it looks white. There is like purple iridescence to it, if you guys can see. I think this is so gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of the Moon whatever palette from Anastasia. I think there's like a purpley shade in that that looks like this. This one is the shade Double Gleam. So this is more of a whitey goldy champagne kind of color if you guys can see that's it there just shining off my hand i put the other one next to it as well um i like this one a lot and then this one is in the shade show gold i don't really find this very golden it's more like rose gold which i suppose is a, a form of gold 
The next things are a couple things that I picked up from Ulta when I did that American shop. These are the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible Pro Glow Foundations. We don't have this in the UK yet. I don't know if we are ever going to get them, so I decided to pick them up anyway. Um, and yeah, I got the shades 205 and 208. 208 looks a little bit reddish, so I'll probably be sticking to 205, but we'll see how things go. I will be using these in a drugstore tutorial that I've got coming up. The next things are foundations as well. I love foundation. Foundation is my favourite part of makeup. I don't know why I'm obsessed with foundations. These are the Makeup Forever Water Blend Face and Body Foundations. I have two shades because in every Makeup Forever um, foundation I always have two shades. This is Y405 and Y415. I picked these up because we recently got a Makeup Forever stand in Debenhams on Market Street in Manchester if you guys live up here um, and I decided to pick them up and see what they're all about. I haven't yet used them. I've had them for a little while if I'm honest. I've had them for since September and we're now in November um, so I do need to play with them. Sophie, watch this back. Play. The next thing I picked up is from Tarte. This is the Works of Tarte Holiday 2016. That's all it says on the thing. And it's like a colour wheel. I, oh, this is like the big massive blush thing, isn't it? Oh, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. So it is double-sided just with blushes, basically. It's 10 blushes. Captivating's not in here. I don't know if these are limited edition blushes just in the palette or what. Um, but I love Tarte blushes. The My favourite blush in the world is from Tarte. Tarte is my favourite brand ever. The my favourite. I just love them. So I decided to pick this up for a holiday collection. I did pick up quite a few holiday collections which you guys will see. Um, and this is one of the first that I picked up because it's Tarte. I am wanting to get their new things like their new liquid lips the contour thing and some other stuff as well. I just need to make an order. I kind of was waiting for them to come to Sephora and I've been tweeting them and they're like, yeah, it's coming. And I'm like, when? So I think I'll give it a few more days and if it's not like on Sephora, I'll just order it from their site. Ooh, the next thing is one of the most beautifully packaged, like outer package and packaging ever. This is the Marc Jacobs Object of Desire Face and Eye Palette. And the packaging is gold, it's reflex. Then the packaging of the eyeshadow is like a case. It's kind of squidgy as well and it's got a tassel on there. There's a sticker to say what shadows they are. I really want to dig the pat like the eyeshadows out and just use this as like a clutch or something because I think it's adorable. Um, but this is what it looks like here. They're all neutrals and then there's a highlight, a blush and a contour shade and then just a few eyeshadows as well. If I'm honest, I did buy this for the packaging. The shadows aren't anything like extraordinary. They're quite dupable, um, but the packaging was... It just, it just spoke to me. It just said, Sophie, put me in your basket. And I said, okay, like, I'll do what you say. And now it's mine. The next thing is another palette. I have gone crazy for palettes lately. No idea why. I just have. This is the Dose of Colours Ice Cream Palette. I got this from either Beauty Bay or Cool Beauty or Look Fantastic. They all merge as one in my mind. I don't know who sells what. Um, but this is what it looks like. And it's quite a lot of pastels with some warm shadows in there. So I'll just swatch a few because I realised that I haven't swatched and I said that I would try. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at that mint colour. That mint colour looks amazing. Just, oh, I just, oh, I want to put it on top of my eye. I want to wear that, I want to wear that mint colour like for the rest of my life. That is so gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this very soon. I think, I really think the next one I'm going to film. I don't know when it's going to be up though. Um, but yeah, I fell in love with this. I really like the pastels. I think this would have been better if I got it in the summer. Um, but it was just late arriving to whichever website I got it from. Okay, this is the Sephora Blushing For You um, blush palette. I don't know why, but this this was ages ago, okay, like I ordered all this and I just went crazy. And now I'm looking back at it and I'm like, I haven't even played with any of this. Like, I always realise that my hauls are bigger than some people's haul collection and I I realise it when, I, when I'm hauling it, I'm like, this is a lot of stuff, Sophie. And then I'll put it all away and I'm like, ah, my basket's empty. Let me go and buy new stuff to fill it with. And I'm just in a cycle. I'm in a cycle. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it looks like. I really enjoy the packaging. It goes like a light pink, gold, and dark pink. I think it's quite Christmassy with the gold. I don't know. 
and then that's what it looks there so the pans are duo pans this is probably going to be my favorite because it's quite warmish um but i thought that this was cute i do want to get into blushes a bit more and this was six shades for 16 dollars so i thought that that would be like a perfect bargain i kind of felt like this was a bargain buy if i'm honest the next thing was another purchase from um alter when i did the american order this is the maybelline fit me dewy and smooth so i do have the um matte and poreless Prime and Paulus? Matte and Paulus, I'm pretty sure. It's one of probably one of my favourite foundations of all time. And like, especially like drugstore. It's my favourite drugstore one, but it's also in the runnings with everything as well. So I am interested to see what this one's going to be like. The dewy and smooth one. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to use this. I'm not tanned at the moment, so it doesn't look right. So I picked up the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which I'm sure most of you guys probably thought I already had. Um, because the colours are all colourful and I love colourful things. And I love colourful things, but I didn't actually own this for some reason. So I decided I would pick it up, and I did. And I haven't played with it still, but this is what it looks like. That blue is calling to me. I'm in a blue phase at the moment, if you guys can't tell. And this citrus kind of colour as well. I'm really excited to use this. I'll probably use this more um, in the new year. Maybe once before, but I have a lot of things to film. So probably in the new year, you guys will see a tutorial using this. The next thing is another item from Tarte. This is the Tarte, just another holiday collection basically. This is one of their big palettes. I had their big palette from last year that had the sequins um, as the packaging. And this year they've just got some pink, funky kind of material. I really like the gold bit as well. So you have all these eyeshadows and you have a blush, a highlight, bronzer and contour at the bottom. And then you get a mascara, a liner, and then one of the liquid lip things. I love Tarte holiday packaging. I love Tarte holiday collections. I love this and I'm very, very excited. I wanna play now. I then picked up the Too Faced um, Holiday Grande Cafe collection. Um, I love holiday collections. They're like my favorite reasons for holidays and it, me as a makeup lover, it's like what I looked forward to all year. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of similar to last year's where they have the house. You take off the tar, you open the doors, and then inside you have three palettes and then a Better Than Sex sample mascara. Oh, wow, this is a gorgeous palette. So you've got some neutrals, you've got like a purple, a black, and then you've got like a bronzer as well, which is called Gingerbread. I like that, yeah. This one is Peppermint Mocha. I don't really like the smell of mint. Oh, 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 I hate the smell of peppermint so much. This one's more of a pinky palette. I like that middle colour there and this one. Oh my god, I just don't have time to film all these tutorials that I want to do. And then the last one is eggnog latte. I've never had eggnog, so I don't know what it smells like, so... Oh my god, eggnog smells nice. Oh, oh, that's nice. And that's what this one looks here. So you've got like a green, a silver, a pink, and some neutrals. I like this one. The next thing is something that I thought I would regret, but I don't. This is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. My friend Sarah, who I speak a lot about on here, because <laughs> she's much of a makeup lover, if not more um, than me, and she convinced me to buy it. And I was like, $169, Sarah. I'm going to regret this. And she was like, no, you won't. And I was like, fine then, we'll do it. And if I'm honest, guys, I, I don't regret it. I have swatched it and I put it on Snapchat and I don't regret it. These two colors here are amazing. I'm gonna show you guys. And then I swatched this gold as well and I swatched that one. This is what dreams are made of. This is like Christmas. I am so excited to use this palette. I wanna use everything. I wanna use everything, honest to God. I'm really excited and I don't regret it so far. I have heard from like her other palette, like the $200 one, um, like some controversy with it and I get it, it's a $200 palette, you don't want anything to be wrong with it. So I was a bit wary about buying this, but so far, the colours I've swatched and what I've seen people on YouTube use as tutorials, I, I like, I like. And if any of you guys are wondering, I will not be getting the Huda Beauty, um, is it called Rose Gold Palette or something? I will not be getting it, surely because I've seen reviews that the mattes aren't that great. That's not the reason I'm not going to get it though. The shimmers have to be applied with fingers. 
I, I, I can't. So there's no point in me buying it. There's no point in me wasting money. Um, so I won't be buying that if you guys are interested. Sorry. I also picked up the MAC Nook Nut Nut Cracker collection thing. The one that has the Whisper of Guilt in. Because I missed out on that Whisper of Guilt hype completely. Look at this packaging. Look how cool it is. Um, so I'm so excited. I haven't swatched this yet. This is what it looks like. This is Whisper of Guilt and what is that word pleasure model it's hard to see upside down should we swatch this guys should we do it oh, i don't want to ruin the i can't even use this because i don't want to ruin the 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 style oh wow fuck it oh, oh can i just put it on should we put it on let's put it on oh my god oh my god no you guys this is so buff i want to buy another one that's how like work i might actually buy another one and then use this one and then just have the other one as a collector's item. I also picked up a couple of things in the Ulta shop as well. These are the Maybelline Color Tattoos Eye Crowns. So these are liquids. The first one is, don't put it on top of a highlight, you can't even see something. The first one is in the shade Gilded Rose. And that's it there. It's kind of like a shimmering mess at the moment. I really like these. I thought that these were a cool little idea that Maybelline have come out with. And I'm really glad that the drugstore is like stepping up their game. And then this is the other one. This is the shade Bronze Sheen. So just using it as like a base and putting colours on top. Ooh, will look really bomb. So from Kylie Cosmetics, I picked up a few things. The first thing is the Burgundy palette, which I also picked up another one for a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. This is what it looks like here. I don't want to swatch it because I do want to do a first impressions and review when I do a tutorial with it. I wasn't going to get this palette, if I'm honest. The red was the reason why I wanted it, but then I saw, I think Jeffree Star used it and it looked pink and I was like, I don't want a pink red, I want a red red. But when it went live, I just thought, F it. See what happens. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I added two to my cart and I managed to check out perfectly fine. So I picked up one for me and one for you guys. And then I also picked up two of her lip kits. I thought that they sent me the same things, but these are just very similar looking. I have the shade Ginger and the shade Pumpkin. Um, and they just look identical, which has really annoyed me. Because on the website, they didn't look that identical, but in person they do. So then guys, that is it for my massive haul. This video has taken me over half an hour. My God, I brought a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I have been collecting these things for quite a while. I just don't wanna bombard you guys with loads of hauls all the time, so I kind of make it a big haul. If you guys prefer smaller hauls often rather than one big haul, then let me know in the comments down below. If you're pretty easy going, just let me know as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if there was anything that you guys saw that you wanna see in this tutorial, then please let me know in the comments down below because I really need to start pre-filming for Australia because that's like three weeks of pre-filming I need to do, which is like nine videos. So if you guys have any ideas or requests, then please do let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Snapchat so you guys can be up to date and in the loop with all the things that is going down. And if you did enjoy it, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.